Hey, what's up guys? Fuse Theme here, back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing five things you didn't know about the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update. So in this video, we're going to be discussing and also showcasing a bit more about the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update, which is coming this summer of 2021. It's going to be amazing, and I'll show you um, in the video in the background, show you little clips of the, the trailer and also some exclusive clips. On the update and I will be telling you guys five things you probably didn't know about the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update so let's get straight into the video okay the first topic we're going to be discussing about is going to be the ores I know a lot of people are wondering are the ores going to be faster and easier to find or are they gonna be harder and slower to find so to answer your question it de really depends on the ore, but for most of the time, it's going to be easier and a lot, lot more efficient. Um, if you guys don't know, there's a method of uh, finding diamonds and other types of ores called strip mining, and it's been very efficient ever since, like, who knows how, how long. <laughs> but um, in this update, this will give pl players such a more easier time mining diamonds. And if you guys didn't know, diamonds are no longer part of the Y coordinate 12. And that is a big mind shock since it's been a while since that's been a been a thing. And uh, yeah, diamonds are going to be appearing all over the place in the Caves and Cliffs update. It's still going to be at a low level, but I think it'll be averaging more like Y coordinate 25 or or Y coordinate 15 around there. And you'll find diamonds everywhere. And I'm talking about everywhere. Like people have seen so pe there's a thing called a snapshot which gives players a little beta test on the on the game and they found tons of diamonds so it's a, it's definitely efficient more efficient than uh, strip mining that's for sure the second topic we're going to be discussing about is the warden the warden is going to be a insane mob and here's why the warden will be the strongest mob known to minecraft that is a mind shock, but it is true. The Warden is able to defeat a Wither. People have tested a Warden against a Wither, and it is able to defeat a Wither with ease. If you guys didn't know, um, in the trailer you will see this person wielding a Netherite sword and Netherite armor. And you might be wondering, why is he crouching? The reason because of this is because the Warden doesn't have eyes, meaning it can't see you. So if you're crouching, he will not bother you. But if you are running or even walking... He will find you and kill you. He reacts to sound, sounds and movements. So people can use snowballs or even uh, eggs to try to um, attract his attention somewhere else. So you can sing and vibe to your diamonds and Minecraft music. In the video, you'll also see um, the player using snowballs to attract the attention of the warden. You can see it firsthand. Take a look at this. As you guys can see, the warden att gets attracted to the sounds, and you saw the vibrations going to his ears. And as you can see, since the player was walking, he got attracted to the scent. And watch what happens next. He's wearing full netherite armor and has a netherite sword. You'll see what happens next, and it will shock you, for sure. I can already tell you're screaming at the top of your lungs, you can calm down. The Warden will one-shot you if you don't have armor. Here's the design for it. It looks amazing. I'm definitely going to be spooked, for sure. Oh, and here's goats. Vibey, drippy goats. And here's a little sneak peek on the mountains and cliffs. The mountains will have a higher block height, which is kind of dope. And those were the goats. And it wouldn't be an update without new items. One new item is the telescope, and it's pretty straightforward. It just zooms in, and it's, it goes pretty far. I will say that. It goes pretty far. But it isn't anything too special. As you can see, the villager is vibing, and I don't know what happened to that freaking chicken. It did something to freak people out. But yeah, that's enough of the telescope. Next up is a new ore coming to Minecraft, which is called the copper ore. The copper ore isn't anything too special. We don't know if it produces armor or weapons or tools and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's mainly more of construction and buildings. It does look dope though. It slowly turns from orange to green as rain or as time passes. 
that's a better way of saying it and as you can see the time lapse is there i don't know how many days it takes but people are saying it's around 15 to 20 but yeah i think it's it's definitely much it's it's a lot of time <laughs> Next up is the lightning rod. The lightning rod is what just what it sounds like. It attracts lightning so none of your builds catch on fire, which I think is pretty useful, but when do your builds actually caught on fire? But I guess that's really rare, but like if it happens, it really sucks, so I guess that's good. Next up is bundles. Bundles is easily my favorite item coming to this update. It can contain a total of 64 items in a, uh, in a bundle, and it's pretty hard to craft though. You need rabbit hides. And I don't like murdering the rabbits, not because it's an animal or anything, but because those little rascals are really hard to find or really hard to kill. Either way, I, it's going to be hard, but I'm getting those bundles. What about you guys? The third topic we're going to be discussing about are new structures. Kind of similar to like the stronghold or the mine shaft, but in this case, this is completely different. This is known as an archaeological excavation. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm dumb. But basically, you use a quill and you dig gravel trying to cut treasures. Really cool and really dope, but sometimes you don't get what you want. And sometimes, well, this could happen. Yes, you see that block diamond? Boom, gone. You have to be really delicate and really careful, and the chances are high, but also there's that sliver of chance that you may, well, that diamond may go bye-bye. But there are also high chances to get um, these cool looking sculptures that can discover some mysteries of Minecraft. You already know I'm going to make a theory about this in the future. You already know. But how do you guys feel about this? I think it's really dope and it has obsidian in the background. So I'm definitely going to be copping that obsidian. You already know I'm going to slay those freaking pigmen. Freaking pigmen. Idiots. Now the fourth topic we're going to be discussing about is going to be the structural design of the caves. And let's just say that it's going to be much more lush, much more fresh, and it's going to feel like a forest in a cave had a baby. That made no sense at all, but just go for it. Just go for it. But the caves will have fish in it, which is going to be insane. And look at those fishies. But you should never go on their bad side because they, they can kill. They, they definitely can kill. Like, those animals... Axolotus, they they kill. Yeah, they can kill under under. I mean, not under dragons. <laughs> what am I saying? They're fish, but they can beat those things. They will fight with you and for you. But how do you guys enjoy this? And the fifth topic we're going to be discussing about. Well, there is no fifth topic. That's it. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the video, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I hope I will see you guys next time and have a great rest of your day. Peace.